Hey guys, how's it going? It's Thang and welcome to this video. To today, we're going to be talking about Echeveria glivifor hybrids and how to propagate them. So, what are Echeveria glivifora hybrid? Oh, that's a tongue. To oh my god. Glivifora hybrids. So, what are glivifora hybrids? Glivifora hybrids are those really, really big succulents, Echeveria succulents. Like, they can grow this huge, 50 centimeters wide, I believe. Uh, they're the wavy ones, the frilly ones, the bumpy ones, the warty ones that look like an STD on your veggie. JJ, girls, it really does. Um, those are Glipophor hybrids. That also includes your Echeveria rain raindrops as well. So, those ones, unfortunately, they are not capable of propagating through leaf cuttings at all, no matter how much time you give it. Okay. Um, so, I'm going to show you an example right here. This is one of the Glipophor hybrids right here. As you can see, there's tons of roots, but there's no babies. So sad, so sad. Oh well, too bad. Uh, this has been this has been on the tray for about over two months now, since I think mid November, Decemberish, I think. I don't know, probably longer than that. But it's not capable of ever producing a baby, no matter how much time you give it. Um, it's just it's just that type of succulent. I'm sorry, Echeveria, that's not capable of doing it at all. And the best way to propagate them is really through beheading them and through their offsprings or pups when you behead them they just pretty much shoots new baby out that's the best way of doing it um so when somebody tells you hey have you tried leaf cutting leaf propagation on these things you know big feathers it'll never work no matter what you leave it there two three months never ever, ever gonna work um but i've been reading and people say that oh there's there's a there's like a small amount of chance that it's people it's able to and i believe i understand why that happens. So I'm gonna switch my camera, okay? Okay. As you can see, this is my Kalubra here that I beheaded in another video. This is my Arlie Wrights right here. And this is my, oh, sorry. This is one of my Echeveria Ruffles right here. So I'm gonna use this as, as an example. You see right here, I've already beheaded, so this is gonna go into the ground. Um, I've already beheaded this uh, Kalubra. This is also gonna go into the ground. So I wanna use this as an example, okay? Oh, and also, right here too this is the ruffle that i've beheaded we're gonna cut around that and then yeah we're gonna leave the stem and it's gonna give us pillow pops and babies so this right here this is my arlie right or they call it the rose however you want to pronounce it go call it whatever um this is my arlie right right here i beheaded this about two weeks ago and it's giving me actually two babies from the the leaf stem right here you can see there so when people tell you yeah I had a chance that it worked, it worked from leaf cutting. The reason for that, and I've been reading this up too, um, in front of the Facebook group, you know, what somebody, I think her name is Nelly. I think you know who, who she is. She written this up uh, as well. And I've, and then when she wrote that up, I went back to look at my already right and checked and checked where the, the little thing is coming from. It's coming from the leaf stem right there. So when people cut, or people snap off the leaf from any of these, the glibophora hybrids. What ends up happening is that there's a small chance that the part of the stem goes with the leaf. When the part of the stem goes with the leaf, there's a chance that it's gonna propagate through the leaf. And people think that it's propagating through leaf cutting, but it's actually not. It's because there's a stem involved. So all these right here, these are trash. These are literally trash. They will never give me babies at all. I'm gonna go like that, because I um, and you're like, oh my god, I can't believe you do that! Well, of course I can. Come on, guys. It's Thang here. Okay, so we're gonna take this. It's it's this is pretty much also an experiment for me, anyways. But beheading is always the best way. You see, I've already beheaded, and also off uh, off uh, popped offspring is always the best for glibophora hybrid. So what I want to do is want to take a little stem like that. We're gonna cut it off. See, there's 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 a part of the stem still attached to the leaf and this is really great because this is from a stretch out etalite et etalite et 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 whatever um etcheveria and so there's there's enough space in between for me to cut the leaf off with the stem so i want to want to try this method and we'll see within two months time what happens because i'm really interested if it's capable of propagating through this method because you know i have i'm going to be have getting a lot of glibophora hybrids and they're going to be like gigantically huge you know and i would need a house to you know whatever but we're going we're gonna to do this um and then we'll see what happens right? because glibophora hybrids are one of those 
really, really big, big one. You have to have one in your collection to understand how beautiful they can be. Um, you know, because like sometimes we have small little, small little succulents, small little succulents, small little succulents, suck, 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 suck. Uh, small little succulents all the time, but sometimes we need a variety of them too. We need like a little here, a little there, you know, all that other stuff, right? Glibophore hybrids. I love, I love what Miss Eubanks says. You know, she tells one of her video. If you ever get a chance to watch her video, one of her viewer asks her, "Hey, Laura, do you know the names of all the uh, all the Echeveras?" She's like, "No, I really don't, because there's thousands upon thousands upon thousands of hybrids. So you just really, really, you can name it whatever you want to. And usually, I call it a Glibophore hybrid. Glibophore hybrid. If you don't know the name of it, you can call it a Glibophore hybrid." Um, so let's cut this up. You can see the cutting. I'm using I'm using my exacto knife that I, I have. Remember guys, safety first. Because I know if I don't say that, somebody's gonna be in the comment. Oh my god, I can't believe you didn't say safety first. God, I'm just being a little naggy little bitch. That's what you are. Okay. Common sense, guys. Common sense, right? Common fucking sense. That's all that's needed. Did you know common sense is not really that common? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna cut. I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut all these, and see if it actually gives us a baby. That's a lot of glibophore hybrids. I know. Um, and also, if you're asking, have you ever tried tissue culturing thing? I'm like, I have not tried. I've looked it up. I I don't know how to do it. If somebody can come over, show me how to do it. That'd be nice. That'd be great. That'd be fantastic. Go, yeah, CC. And also, you don't want you, you want to, you don't want a small chunk of it. You want a nice big, 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 big chunk, because what ends up happening when you have a small, small chunk of the stem, it shrivels up too much, and there's nothing to use. So these are our experiments right here. Our experiments. Do away with experiments. And these ones, I'm just gonna go one, two, T, four. I'm gonna throw these out. Trust me. I have no use for them. I really don't have no use for them. Maybe, oh, you know what? Maybe we can use this for compost. Use the older stuff for compost, okay, guys? Composting is a good way to, like, feed your plants the plants that you've thrown out. Oh, my God, that's cannibalism. Guys, that's cannibalism. Did you know? Okay. And that's all. That's it. Remember, in my last other video, I told you, never never throw these stems away they will give you beautiful babies so always keep them so i'm gonna put this aside as well okay and then this is my colubra which i love so much i'm gonna do a few of them because i want to keep this okay i don't i don't want to destroy these these i can buy at like uh the nursery for like five dollars for like a tiny one like, a, like this big the colubra unfortunately is much more rare in canadian land than anything Okay, Canadian then. So I'm gonna cut it right here. Mm -hmm. He don't talk anymore. I'm gonna cut it right here. There we go. I'm gonna cut it right there. I'm gonna leave this alone. Okay. This is gonna be whatever. So this, let's cut this colubra up. Cut it up. Um. Yeah. And I'm I'm always I'm I'm a, I'm a very adventurous person that always loves that always wants and always wants oh sorry that loves to always learn that's who I am I'm a very adventurous type of person if you never take any chances or if yeah if you never take any chance or do something new you never get any new new results how does that uh how about how does how, how does that Albert Einstein um quote goes if you never make mistakes. You've never tried anything new something like that and it's true a lot of people don't because they're afraid to do things you know if you are too afraid to do anything how do you succeed in, in anything okay. Okay. Uh, uh, we're almost done be very careful with your knife guys don't hurt yourself if you do get alcohol swipes and just you know you know um you know, treat that shit and then band-aid it up. Okay, band-aid that shit up. Okay. We don't talk anymore. We don't talk anymore. Okay. Cut. 
this up. Cut this up. Cut this up like cutting carrots. All right, guys, cut this up like cutting carrots. Okay, there's one. There we go. Okay, so within a month's time, we'll come back to this and see how all these go because we have enough chunky pieces with chunky stems right there. And yeah, that's it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, if you learned something new, let me know. If you didn't, well, I'm sorry, I can't help you there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget, don't forget to watch my unboxing soon. It'll be like mega fantastic call. I'll see you guys later. Love you. Bye. Press like and subscribe. Bye.